Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? we're talking oh man I don't know about this that place is seriously bad news do we really have to go there up until now all we've done is follow orders isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves I know what you mean but man you have to say it like that I guess I don't have a choice do I then it's settled we'll go tomorrow night so plan accordingly
We were just talking about you. We've been feeling a bit guilty for troubling you about the persimmon tree. Oh, good one. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Glad you can joke around even at a time like this. Makes me feel like we're not so different, you and I. Lord knows I can't pass up a good pun. That persimmon tree is... is a reminder of our son. Actually, before his death, he was a teacher at GeckoCon. He planted that tree on graduation day with the students of his very first class. Just when we thought that tree was about to bear fruit. Why now? Why do they want to cut it down now? Thank you. I'm all right now. That made me feel a lot better. It's very comforting talking to you. Oh, wow! You've really gone and captured my wife's heart. You must be popular with the ladies. My wife's no sucker, after all. I feel I'm looking at myself when I was in my prime. Don't fret too much about the tree. Just stop by when you have the chance. Oh, and take this. It's left over from earlier, but it's still good. Well then, you take care of yourself. talk about this some more I still think this is a bad idea how are you scared of ghosts but totally fine with this cuz stuff you can't see is way creepier actually I'm more worried about the things I can't see like bats and knives <sighs> big deal so it's a little dangerous come on let's strike while the iron's hot strike Actually excited about this? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on, let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, 
Ho-ho-ho! So now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, Goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Ah, shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh... No? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. You loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! <laughs> oh, man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. So trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on, show some appreciation. Just don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. It'll be fine.
place. It's you. Welcome back. Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. 
What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Oriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but... She wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her, but every night... Another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Disp... no! I... I, I didn't mean... Uh, I, I was just... Uh, that's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> about your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? <sighs> A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Uka... Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? 
That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Uh, senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Quiet! We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. something what there's someone else here we gotta hide <sighs> oh, 
It was just a security guard. I know. <coughs> M my phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. What? That's not funny, you know. No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. Hey, Suru, can you hear me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. That's not right. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying.
Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Find an unseeker with the others. 